26. And have you ever wanted your face on a, a roll of toilet paper or maybe some marshmallows? I can't say it was on the top of my priorities, but now I have my face on both. Oh, here it is. It's upside down. And it's pretty awesome. Check it out. Phil Hansen is a multimedia artist known for his experimental approach and offbeat techniques. And he's the reason my face is on toilet paper and, yes, some marshmallows, too. He joins us now live via FaceTime. Good morning, Phil. How are you? Uh, doing very well. Great, great. Well, first off, thank you for the presence. Again, I can't say I've ever had anything like this before, but uh, now you want everyone to be more creative in our everyday lives through simple ways with things found around the house, again, such as marshmallows and toilet paper. Uh, we're talking food, cardboard, coffee filters, gummy bears, but Phil, these don't seem like typical art supplies. Yeah, and, and that's really the whole idea is that we tend to make art with paints and pencils and, you know, the normal stuff. But the, the things that are more normal to us are the things around the house. Mm -hmm. And what are the best things to be creative with are the things that we already know. And so if we can be creative with a banana, then you can maybe view things differently at work. Sure. Now, you mentioned the banana, and I got to hold up your book here, Tattoo a Banana. Uh, I mean, <laughs> toilet paper, tattooing a bananas. How did you ever think to come up with making art out of these things? Uh, well, I used to get, um, well, I have a tremor in my hand. I don't know if we can see it here. Yeah, but my there you go. Permanent, yeah, it just permanently shakes. I have nerve damage in my arm. And so I couldn't do the art that I always wanted to do. So then I had to start experimenting with different things and finding different ways to make art. And so that led to my own artwork being extremely varied. And then when I wanted to show people how to be creative at home, it was a natural fit. There you go, and uh, I mean, definitely art. I'd like to say that my face on toilet paper is a masterpiece, but I mean, here you go, the Mona Lisa, definitely some great art. I mean, is there a level of skill needed for these projects, or can anyone do them at any age? Uh, pretty much any age. There's some of them that, you know, a teenager, but I mean, we had a lot of these projects being done by five and six-year-olds with a little yeah. supervision and up to, um, uh, we, had a, we had a handful of submissions from an 85-year-old, so... How fun. Now, of course, all these projects are in your book, Tattoo a Banana, uh, because that's another one that you can do. And what is the strangest material that you've ever worked with? Uh, actually, I think the banana is the most unusual just because it, <laughs> well, once you see it, it's so obvious. But, you know, I mean, I've seen a banana my whole life. And one day I was working on a project. My wife handed me a banana for a snack, and I didn't really want to eat it. So <laughs> of course, me being an artist, I started drawing with my pencil on it, and I noticed that the drawing made scratches and then that browned the banana. So bit by bit, I was like, wait a second, what if I actually poke and make holes? And voila, you can make amazing images on bananas. There you go, voila. Again, check it out in his book. But I mean, bananas, other things that you can work out with food. I feel like it's all kind of teaching kids to have not only fun with their creativeness, but I mean, fun with, you know, healthy foods and healthy lessons in life. Absolutely. And it's really about, you know, taking that perspective of seeing your own surroundings in a new way. So then when, you know, when or kids or adults, if you go apply for a job or if you're in a club or something, being able to take in that new perspective. Great. Well, uh, I definitely know what my, all my family is getting for Christmas. Uh, some masterpiece <laughs> toilet paper. For more information, right. you can check out fillinthewhat.com. And, of course, that's what with not only one but three A's or his book, Tattoo of Banana. Again, Phil, thank you for my gifts. Thank you for all of this wonderful knowledge. Um, I think we're going to be giving away this book, Tattoo of Banana, uh, to some of our awesome. viewers, if that's all right, so they can check out some of your... That'd be great. Yeah. Awesome. But, again, fill in the what with three A's. We can't thank you enough for chatting with us this morning and uh, a sharing pleasure. a little bit of your creativeness with us here in Southwest Georgia. Thanks. All right. You have a good one, Phil. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. All right. And now